Hello Sagittarius. It's going to be a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Keep that in mind. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. And check out your other signs, your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, let's get into it for Sagittarius, please. I'm using the Druid Craft Tarot deck. I have all of the decks that I use linked in the description box. For Sagittarius, please, Spirit, what do they need to know in regards to love? All right, Sagittarius, let's get into it. Messages for Sagittarius, please, in regards to love. Ooh, we got the Emperor. Aries energy here with the Emperor. Two of Swords. Literally being at a crossroads, at a fork in the road here, not knowing where to go. I love that uh, the artwork of this deck so much. For some reason, I want to pick them like this. Three of Pentacles, working hard on something, wanting to build a solid foundation, work together with someone. I don't know why. What's up with that card? Three of Cups reversed. This could be a third party situation or some sort of interference here in your connection. Uh, interference that does not have to be another person that they're involved with. It could also be um, anything that interferes in the connection. Distance, money, friends, family, um, a lack of courage. Seven of swords, deception, avoidance, trying to sneak away get away with something four of pentacles reversed this tends to be someone who is unable to let go or is ready to let go we're going to have to clarify and see bottom of the deck here ace of wands reversed so something hasn't been able to get off the ground with this connection um, something hasn't been able to to be manifested or created here um and for some reason that is blocking something here or causing a how do i say this causing some sort of uh disruption with the emperor here i feel like this is either someone you're interested in or this is you taking charge of the situation whatever the situation is we got two threes i definitely get there's interference here there's definitely interference here. I think there's like too many people involved. Like this person's working really hard and there's three people watching them, but not putting in any effort. So, you know, people that don't really contribute to anything, but want to talk. We all know people like that, right? <laughs> all right, Sagittarius, let's get into it. Messages for Sagittarius, please. I find it really hard to shuffle this deck completely, so I have to like split it up. Bear with me. I can't hold it in my hands completely. For Sagittarius, please help me clarify these messages. Spirit. Start with the Emperor. Tell me about the Emperor. We got the star and four of swords, healing, renewal here. Aquarius energy with the star. Someone's really been thinking hard, thinking but no action, which is really strange for the emperor because he is very decisive. He has the confidence to get anything done. I feel like there's some sort of um, healing or renewal that this emperor wants to either make happen or he needs to do. And I say he just because the emperor is a male on this card, but gender is not important here. It's about the energy. Tell me more about the emperor. Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy here. A decision between the head and the heart a decision regarding a partnership. I feel like this emperor might be wanting to heal a connection. 
Bottom of the deck, five of wands. I, again, I'm getting the sense of too many people involved. Too many hands in the pot. Too many cooks in the kitchen, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I feel like there's a lot of um, conflict because of people. Arguments because of other people. Tell me about the two of swords. For Sagittarius, please. The hangman. So someone's having, uh, looking at something from a new perspective, seeing things from a new angle, and it's gonna help them make this decision possibly. Tell me more about this Two of Swords. Ten of Cups reversed. An emotionally draining situation, something that's not fulfilling emotionally. Could also be a uh, fracture of a family unit. Tell me more. Someone could be thinking about leaving a family unit. Tell me more about it. Okay. Because it's not balanced. Six of Pentacles reverse. Um, yeah. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. Someone could be uh, leaving a situation that's no longer emotionally fulfilling be and, and no longer balanced, no longer fair. There's no even exchange here. Someone's seeing this clearly and I feel like they're walking away from that. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. This is effort, working together, collaborating, building a foundation, something strong, long lasting. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, the Empress reverse. So we have the Emperor and the Empress here. Notice how one of them is upright, one of them is reversed. Whenever I have the same pair, but one's upright and one's reversed, to me, as a reader, they're not seeing eye to eye. It could also be that this Empress is not contributing at all to this work or effort because the Empress Reverse doesn't have the resources to manifest anything. They're not able to create anything. They're also controlling. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles Reversed. They're also, for me as a reader, the Jilted Lover. Not a happy camper. The Moon, Pisces Energy. Something was not as it seemed with this Empress, possibly. Or there's something here that's not very clear. Secrets, possibly. Mystery. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. Please. Pisces energy there. Oh, we got two. Ace of Wands reverse and Page of Cups. Very interesting. We got the Ace of Wands reverse twice. Something was definitely not able to be manifested, no matter how much work someone put in. And with the Page of Cups um, here, it could be someone wanting to apologize or someone who wants to express how they feel. This could be a surprise, but I'm really getting the sense of an apology here just because there's nothing, something didn't work out here and I think someone wants to apologize for it. Devil at the bottom of the deck here, Capricorn energy. There's an unhealthy attachment here. This Empress Reverse might be causing confusion and using emotion to do it. They tend to be good at that. The Empress Reverse is not a good partner. Sometimes they're not even good parents. They might use confusion, mystery, they might have secrets. Some Maybe they appear a certain way on the outside, but deep down they're a different person. Wow, there's the tower. I'm gonna put that here because I was thinking about the Empress. Yeah, so there could be someone here that's sticking around, still working on this because they want to avoid a tower moment. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse. Whoa, it's way too many. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse, please. Five of Swords, definitely a third party situation here, for sure. And it caused an argument, a fight, or someone here had to walk away from, from this or um, there was deception in some way. The communication was off here and it had to do with this third party, with whatever interference you're dealing with. Tell me more about this Three of Cups Reverse. Hermit Energy. Not Hermit Energy. Well, it is Hermit Energy, but I meant to say Hermit Virgo Energy because I'm thinking it. But um, I'm getting the sense someone here has withdrawn. Possibly... There's no communication or the communication has stopped. Someone has literally gone in within to figure out what to do about this. And I think it's this emperor. Tell me more. 
Wow, there's the Three of Swords. Very painful situation. Again with the threes. There's three threes here. I get one more for this Three of Cups reverse. You get one more. Ugh. Two of Cups reverse. My goodness. Yeah, this third party, this argument, this whatever happened, it, it ended a relationship or a connection. Or it's fractured. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Unfortunate events, bad luck, bad timing. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. And it had to do because somebody here was not being open and honest. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. They came to the fight and, you know, they weren't fair about it. Possibly trying to avoid a situation. Yeah, deception. Destruction with the Ace of Swords reverse. Terrible communication here. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords, please. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords here. Someone's been lying to you. The Magician reversed and manipulating you. Again, not being able to manifest anything. So it's almost like even though this person has lied to you, they haven't been able to get away with it or they haven't, it hasn't worked out for them, you know? Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. This is a third person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They tend to be in a commitment. They tend to be a, a good, they're good partners. Um, good providers. Good with finances. Good with managing the home. This is not that Empress energy. This is someone else. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups reversed. Another, the third Ace reversed. So that tells me again, lack of new beginning. Lack of getting something done a lot of disappointment here emotionally overwhelmed emotionally drained um heartbreak and i think it has to do with this queen of pentacles someone was being deceptive either to this queen of pentacles or about this queen of pentacles tell me about the four of pentacles reverse if you don't know this about someone yet, you're going to find out. Because I have the moon here. I'm surprised the high priestess hasn't hasn't popped up. Tell me about the four of pentacles reversed. Ten of wands reversed. Something's getting dropped. Someone's letting go here of a burden. Tell me more about this four of pentacles reversed. Yep, definitely. Nine of wands reversed. Whatever this is, no matter how long it was, no matter how much someone didn't want to give up on it, no matter how strong someone was dealing with it, they're going to give it up. One more, please, for this Four of Pentacles reverse. One more, please. This is a very clear reading. Yep. Seven of Wands reverse. Someone's giving up completely. They're not going to fight anymore. They're not going to... They don't even care about putting up walls anymore. That's how little they care. Bottom of the deck, higher font energy, Taurus. And behind that, the King of Cups. Interesting. Someone's being very mature about this. This is like Mr. and Mr. Mature to, 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 yeah. Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's like drawing hard boundaries. Someone's going to, this is all about order, tradition, with the higher font this is all about contracts and with the king of cups there's love here but more than anything i'm seeing emotional maturity when i see these two cards here someone's being very mature about this someone's thinking about how to do the right thing and it's this person this person they're they're not going to stick around and deal with something that's beneath them is what i'm hearing Queen of Swords, they tend to be extremely cold and calculating and rational. They they think about moving forward. And I think this person's thinking about being independent, not relying on anybody else, not having to deal with anybody else, doing everything on their own here. Because they don't want to count on anybody else. They don't need to count. This person here, they don't need anybody else. Like, they got this. They're rational, they're logical, they're intelligent. And they know things. And then you have it paired with someone that's emotionally stable. Someone who's able to 
um, tap into their emotions and still be level headed, still make the right decisions, use their intuition. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and Taurus energy here with the higher font. And I feel like it's going to, this person's going to take back order. Like this is, that's just, I just get that very strongly. It's like someone has literally given up. Like these three cards here are the cards for giving up. Ten of Wands reverse, Seven of Wands reverse, Nine of Wands reverse. Like this is someone that's completely 100% done. This could be you or the person you're dealing with, Sagittarius. This is someone that's completely done. Like they're they're not they're gonna drop this burden, drop this this defensive uh, wand that they've been holding, and they're just gonna keep going. Let me see if I can get one more, please. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for this Four of Pentacles reverse? Since I have a little bit of time here. This was a very clear cut reading. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles reverse. Justice reversed. I'm telling you, if this isn't like a contract being broken or a legal matter being like, you know, this is also karma. This justice reversed. Someone's gonna get their karma. Someone here, it's, it's almost like it's very unfair what's happened it's unjust what's happened they have to have they've had to deal with all this crap and it's unfair um i think this is also someone here who is like completely like i don't even care about having things be balanced anymore i just want out get me out of here this justice card also is deception more all your reading has a ton of deception energy or energy that has to do with something being covered up something being mysterious something unknown and it has to do with someone's lying to you sagittarius justice reversed lack of clarity in a decision not being able to weigh things something being unfair unjust it's almost like someone's tired of things being unfair. Like they just want things to be fair and balanced for them and they don't get it. King of Swords reverse three of one. Yeah, they've been waiting for something here to, to come their way, to have happiness, to have a new beginning here, you know? And it's like, they're tired of waiting and they're tired of dealing with this King of Swords reverse. They tend to be very cold, emotionally distant, violent, cruel. They're tired of it. And uh, yeah, otherwise I'll leave it here, Sagittarius. Um, I hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope you got something out of it. Please let me know in the comments if it did resonate. I love to hear from you and I'll hopefully see you in another video. Take care.